Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to secure your WordPress website with a free SSL certificate using Infinity Free. An SSL certificate is essential for encrypting data and securing your website, and the best part is, you can get it for free. Let's get started. First, log in to your Infinity Free account. If you don't have an account yet, you can easily create one by visiting Infinity Free. Net and signing up. It's completely free. Now that you're logged in, let's move on to the FTP details section. You can find this in the left-hand menu of your dashboard. Click on it to reveal important information like your FTP server, username, and password. FTP, or File Transfer Protocol, is a standard network protocol used to transfer files between a client and a server on a computer network. Next, we'll navigate to the free SSL certificates option in the menu. Click on it, and you'll be directed to a new page where you can manage SSL certificates for your domains. As you can see, there's no SSL certificate installed yet for your domain. SSL, which stands for Secure Sockets Layer, is a security technology that establishes an encrypted link between a web server and a browser. This ensures that all data passed between the server and the browser remains private and integral. To start the process of securing your site, click on the New SSL Certificate button. This will bring up a form where you'll need to enter the domain name of your website. Make sure to enter the domain exactly as it appears, including the www if you want it included in the certificate. Once you've entered your domain, click Create Order. This step initiates the process of generating an SSL certificate specifically for your domain, which will secure all data transmitted to and from your site. After submitting your order, you'll see a confirmation message that says, your order has been created. Below this message, there will be instructions for the next steps. It's important to carefully read and follow these instructions to ensure your SSL certificate is set up correctly. The next step usually involves verifying domain ownership, which we'll do by setting up name records. To verify that you own the domain, you'll need to set up name records. Name, or canonical name records, are a type of DNS record that maps an alias name to a true or canonical domain name. Once you've added the name records, it may take some time, sometimes a few hours, for the DNS changes to propagate. This is normal, so don't worry if you don't see immediate results. Just be patient and check back later to ensure everything is set up correctly. With the name records in place, you're ready to request your SSL certificate. Return to the free SSL certificate section on Infinity Free and click on the Request Certificate button. This will trigger the process of issuing the SSL certificate. During this time, the system will verify the name records you set up earlier. You'll see a loading indicator as this process takes place, which might take a few minutes. It's crucial not to navigate away from this page or close your browser window during this time. Once the verification process is complete and your name records have been confirmed, you'll see a message indicating that your SSL certificate has been issued. Congratulations! You've successfully secured your website with SSL. This certificate ensures that all data transferred between your website and its visitors is encrypted and secure. The next step is to install this certificate on your server which will activate the HTTPS protocol for your domain. Infinity Free offers a convenient option to install SSL certificate automatically. Click on this button to start the installation process. This automated feature makes it easy, even for beginners, to install the SSL certificate without needing to handle the certificate files manually. The installation process may take up to 15 minutes during which the system will configure your server to use the new SSL certificate. Once the installation is complete, your website will be accessible via HTTPS, and visitors will see the secure padlock icon in their browser's address bar, indicating that the connection is secure. After the installation is complete, 
it's a good idea to double-check the status of your SSL certificate. A few moments later. Go to your control panel, also known as CPAN. Lastly, scroll down to find the name records section in CPANEL. This is where you can verify that the name records you set up earlier are correctly configured. Specifically, look for entries that include ACME before your domain name. This is a part of the Let's Encrypt verification process that Infinity Free uses to issue the SSL certificate. Ensuring these records are present and accurate is crucial for the continued validity of your SSL certificate. Next, we'll configure HTTPS on our WordPress website to enhance its security and performance. Access your WordPress admin dashboard by logging in with your admin credentials. Navigate to Settings, UGeneral. You'll see two fields, WordPress Address, URL, and Site Address, URL. Change both URLs from HTTP colon slash slash to HTTPS colon slash slash. This tells WordPress to use HTTPS for your site's URLs. After making these changes, click Save Changes. To automatically handle redirects and ensure that all traffic is routed through HTTPS, you can use a plugin like Really Simple SSL. Go to Plugins, you add new. Search for Really Simple SSL and click Install Now, then Activate. Once the plugin is activated, it will detect your SSL certificate and configure your site to use HTTPS. Follow any additional instructions provided by the plugin to complete the setup. Now that your site is configured for HTTPS, it's important to test and ensure that everything is working correctly. Visit your website and make sure the URL starts with HTTPS colon slash slash. And that's a wrap. You've successfully set up HTTPS on your WordPress website, ensuring that your site is secure and trustworthy for your visitors. Remember, website security is an ongoing process, so stay vigilant about updates and best practices. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.